Cynthia. She's my trusted right hand. I'm sure you know how important it is to have family by your side. Business is business. It's too far from me. Basis is the extender of time. <laughs> I like this guy. He is not the asshole like my brother says he is. Speaking of which, where's Constantine? The invitation was for him. Oh, he has more important things to do. If he likes what I report, then he might want to talk. Might? <laughs> we must say, we're not sure why we came outside of blind curiosity. Our feelings aren't on the best of terms, especially after you little hits. Let's not focus on past conflicts. Let's look ahead to the future. A brighter, safer, more profitable future for all of us. My son will be here shortly. Get your ass here. Hey, I gotta go. What? What time is it? It's, it's an early night, but I have some business to take care of. Okay, well, just let me get your nah, ass. it's okay. Look, you can stay as long as you like. I will be back, I promise. Are you sure you have to go? How about this? Meet me at the Valentine in about an hour. Um, we'll catch a movie and then kind of see where the night goes from there. All right, that sounds good. All right. Our organizations have been at war for far too long. It's time for peace. 
easy to claim peace when you have nothing to lose. Wars are lost for all parties involved, and especially not profitable for any of us. Profits only come when there is a clear victor. <laughs> Last man standing. Then the vicious cycle of death starts all over again. We don't like war. It's not pretty. Too messy. And we like to stay pretty. Exactly. I can kill each one of you right where you stand or burn down your next five generations of your bloodline. Just to prove a point. But what good would that do? You speak as though you have some alternative to war. Like I said, peace. We can bind our organizations into one. <laughs> <laughs> Constantine would never work with them. Let's not ruin the moment by being stupid. How would something like this work? Everybody keeps their territory and run business as usual, except it's run under my leadership. Our united resources will give us control of not only the underworld, but legit assets as well, making us a world power that I dare anyone stand against. Why should you lead? Why not one of us? Not that uh, hothead, Jinx. He's already making moves on your business anyway. Jinx is a non-factor. Dude, I can't wait to get this old dude out of the picture, man. It's gonna be us, we're gonna take over the whole thing. Hey, bro. This a private party. You gotta go. Hey, man, you gotta get the hell out of here. Hey, you gonna be the first message to that old man that I'm coming for his ass. Is that a threat? No, that's a promise. Let's just say that Jinx's ambition proved to be too much of a liability for what I'm trying to establish. What is that exactly? Simple. One organization. We influence government, we make policies, we make the world a better place. If we choose to follow your lead, we will need a gesture of good faith to show your sincerity. You're asking us to give up our life's work to follow you. So we ask, what are you willing to sacrifice? What do you feel is acceptable? The Gemini organization has suffered many setbacks, thanks to you. Blood was shed in your name, so it's only right and fair. Blood is shed in ours. Continue. Mm -hmm. Blood for blood. That might be enough to sway my brother. He's not uh, quite as a visionary as me. Whose blood? Bishops over your dead body. You guys have to excuse my daughter. She's very protective of her siblings. <laughs> we mean no harm, but this is not a business venture taken lightly. And given the magnitude, it requires extreme measures. I didn't see no problem with this. Bishop is in all of our actions. Say my brother's name one more time. You'll all learn the meaning of pain in six different languages. I won't let them touch him. That's not up to you. It's time to pick up our security measures. Hold it, Pops. You son of a bitch. That's your son. And your mother was my wife. Did that stop me from eliminating her when she got in my way? You are cold blooded. I like that. Do we have an agreement? My brothers and I have much to discuss. We'll get back to you. When the scales tip, I'm going to... <sighs> to a new world. You're not safe, baby brother. Get away now.
Thing is, I was in a good mood. You want to see what my bad mood looks like? I was just following orders, man. The orders from who? <laughs> Mr. Knight, man. He, he, he told me to bring in one necessary force. Looks like you better hire some better goons then. <laughs> Time to cash in, little bro. Where? Pop's favorite spot. No. Don't make me wait long. I might get bored and break in your little girlfriend. And I promise you, you will beg for death. Uh, but guess what? Don't touch your nerve. I think I pissed him off. You know, I've been waiting to let loose on you, baby boy. But you know, Pops always said, you never fight family. Well, I guess you ain't family no more. So you ain't got nothing to say? Any last words? 
You talk too much. <laughs> Come on, man. Was that supposed to hurt, baby boy? You can't hurt me, dude! Can't nobody hurt me! Let her go! Let her go! She wouldn't be here for one for you! Pops and KJ over here to talk to you and you put him in a coma! It's only one way out of this, baby boy! Don't say it if you don't mean it. You know, for the first time, I'm able to say it and truly mean it. Well, love me forever. That's what I plan to do for you. I love you, Bishop Knight. I love you, Bishop Knight. <laughs> <laughs> The only reason you still live is because we're still family. But you have sin to thank for that. Call him off, or I cause you enough pain that'll last three lifetimes. All right, all right. Let her go. Damn, bro. I didn't know you had any. Stay away from me, and stay away from her. Man, Pops is gonna be pissed. Good. Noah, it's Bishop. I need your help. Get up. 